down industry and business? Will jobs be secure? Can we expect retrenchments after the lockdown? Let's find out with Jason Hamilton from the University of Stellenbosch's Business School. I should imagine, Jason, that retrenchments is going to be an everyday reality after this is all over. I think um, for, for the crisis we're facing currently, um, and obviously exasperated based on our economic position prior to this, um, yes, there, there will be impact felt ac across all sectors and across all industries. And although that is, is a, a terrible thing to face, I think what it also is doing, because everybody is affected, it also is unify, unifying private public sector employees, government, all, all across one, that we can actually fight this and we can actually look forward and say, how are we going to emerge from this? I think the reality is also that there's no sector that's going to come out of this in the same position that they were before. So I think currently in the short term, your retailers, your essential service providers are at least able to keep the lights on. And as we saw in the UK, there's about a 20 percent, I think, year on year growth in sort of their sales. However, that's going to be really short lived because companies and individuals coming out of this and over the next couple of months is going to have to take on significant amounts of debt to survive which means you're going to place further pressure on the economy. As you say, finally, the public-private sector really stepping in, whether it's, it's some sort of a new business plan or handing over cash. After this, there will be a new business plan going forward, won't they? Across almost every sector. They will, and I think it's, it's very difficult at the moment um, to, to know what that plan looks like because... Which we're, we're, we're dealing with such an interlinked one economy, one from a South African and a global point of view, but also the pandemic's changing and evolving. So, or, or the impact of it is, is changing and evolving. So, I'm told that's what's crystallized. It's very difficult to really plan and see what that looks like. However, it is crucial to start planning. And this is crucial on the individual and the company level in that if you have your plans together and if you understand how you will be impacted, it obviously empowers you to then engage with your funders, engage with your financiers, engage with your supply chain and ask for the right assistance, which I think is something that all companies and individuals should be doing right now. And it doesn't help that Fitch has said that, uh, that well, they've given us a negative outlook for South African banks off the back of the virus. Obviously, the, the Moody's downgrade. And as one of our guests said, we're not in a recession, we're in a depression. Yes, and I think uh, the depression word is always always a difficult one or, or to, to throw out. I think the, 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 the positive or the, the silver lining is that the globe is facing this recession or the depression situation, which also means there's a different nuance to it, that it's not one economy struggling, it's everybody struggling. Um, I think with the Moody's downgrade, we have to also see that slightly in context in that the other agencies have downgraded us two years ago already. And I think a lot of that has been priced in. Uh, however, we did see yields going up, which means that government is now going to pay, the government debt is going to cost more, which means there's less money available in the economy to, to, to boost, which means, again, even the budget will have to be relooked at quite aggressively. Um, and we may even have to, and I think uh, Mr. already mentioned this about potentially approaching the IMF to see if we can't raise some funds there specifically to help on the health side. And finally, the time for small business. Hopefully they'll get the respect and the financing and support they deserve. For sure. And I, I think this is unfortunately also where the biggest pain will be felt. Um, and I think, and this is where the planning becomes so crucial, because if you were a business that were, was marginal prior to the crisis, um, all the talk is, or all, all the support, it doesn't seem like there's support available for those businesses, and we, we will see fallout there. However, we also have to then look at what recovery looks like, and hopefully this is a temporary thing, meaning a three- to six-month scenario, that when the economy start picking up again on the global scale, the businesses that have, have ceased can either start up again, or you've got competitors now that's able to absorb the, the workforce that, that has been back mm. And possibly follow a similar cycle to that of China. Jason Hamilton, thank you very much.